Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing kind of a, not a tutorial, but just to show you how I draw faces. I took a poll way too long back on DeviantArt and never actually made a video for it, so I decided to make one now. And like I said, it's just how I draw faces, and I learned from watching other people and reading the how to draw books and stuff like that. And I pretty much follow those guidelines, but first, just draw a circle, and I do a lot of circles until I get one that, I don't know, is the right shape and size. So I have lots of little lines on there. And then I draw a line, and this will be a three-quarter view, so it's slightly over here, and I draw a line all keeping these lines very light just in case I want to outline and color over it and then I draw for the eyes straight across and then nose mouth and chin so I know where I need to put the chin at and then once I have those those lines all there I draw the side of the face And then I just meet up where that last line is for the chin. And I go over this way to draw this side. And I don't draw the ear yet just because I want to draw the eyes and the nose first so I know how big the ear needs to be. But I do draw the neck. So that's there. And then right here. Then I usually shade just a little. Not important if you don't, it's just a little habit that I do. And then for the eyes, I do the middle, and then I do two that are roughly the same distance apart, but because it's a three-quarter view, I put this one a little closer and this one a little farther away. And then I draw the bottom of the eye first, and then the top. And I don't connect this all the way until I do the eyelashes. So there's one. Eyelid and an eyebrow. Alrighty. Too high up. And then I kind of tilt my paper to make sure the eyes are roughly the same. I'm drawing at weird angles so you guys can see everything. Try not to tilt the paper. I move the paper a lot when I draw. I'm trying to keep it still. And the eyeball. And then the eyelash. Okay. And then for the nose, I don't draw. I used to draw a line all the way down and make the nose, but now I just do a line here to show where it starts. And then I lift my pencil and kind of draw where it would go, and then just do the end of the nose. And then the nostril. And then I shade this right here because other than that, that's all I do on the nose and I add a lot of the detail when I color it in with Copics. So I kind of just shade it in to know where everything would go. And then for the mouth, I know I put the line here, but I usually 
this is where the bottom lip goes. So I kind of do this. And then that ends just right there. And then the top. Alright. And now that I have the eyes and the nose drawn, I can do that ear. And so I go about halfway through. That's where I start. And then the nose is where I end it. So it's kind of, if you were to draw a realistic photo, that's how you would do it as well. So I kind of just use the same principle for it. And I don't do too much detail in the ear. I just do this line. That's where the earlobe would be. And then the inner ear. And then that. That's really all I do for ears. I don't, I don't go into too much detail. circle and the pupil and then just slightly shade it again I don't do too much because that's where the Copics come in and I do a lot of detail with the Copics instead of trying to outline and sketch every detail with a pencil or an outliner And for hair, uh, what hair shall, shall I do? Let's do some bangs. So I just start about here. I don't want to make her forehead too big. So right here, roughly about where the, when I drew that circle at the beginning, I use that one. So it's about to that line. And I just do alternating angles so it looks not so uniformed because it swoops this way at the beginning but by the time it gets up here if it goes like that it looks weird so I do alternating so it kind of blends in easier Lots of little lines, and then when you outline, you can do the specific ones. Then for over here, I don't start at this line, I start about right here to add this one. So I'm just going to do a little, little strand of hair right here. And then I don't like doing this personally for me. I don't like doing round all the way up. So I go here and then I flatten it just a little bit. And then I go round to where the hair would be. She's going to have a ponytail, so. Or a bun. I might do a bun might feel adventurous and then for this instead of doing a circle like I used to I kind of do areas that are higher and then lower to add just that kind of that look of it being put together in a bun so it wouldn't be straight I got a patch here and then here that are not on the same level So you know where the bangs and the hair separate at. Meet all together here. And let's do a bun. Feels like a bun day. So again, instead of doing a circular bun, I'm going to do different sections at different angles so it looks almost like it has texture to it just so it's not so uniformed maybe a couple of strands of hair a couple here, a couple there you can never get those hair those hairs in a bun 
I don't know about you guys. It's pretty hard. You know, bobby pin or something. Alright, so that's how I do faces. Thanks for watching.